Well, Leah, we were just reminiscing how we had a very, very brief meeting during Red Dawn. Oh, I know. Uh, but uh, my goodness, you've been very, very busy since then. You're one of the busiest young actresses I know, <laughs> uh, just going from one to the other, as it were. And now, Howard the Duck, which is such fun. Oh. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was as enjoyable for you to make as it is for us to look at it. Oh. That's so nice. Yeah, I really did have a great time making it. I had a, a great time with the people and, uh, and with the music, you know, and learning how to sing and doing all that. I really did have, it was very creative and exciting. How did you feel or what was your first reaction when you found out they wanted you to do this role and that she was a pop singer? Well, that was exciting. That was a big dream of mine all my life. I mean, I think everybody kind of wants to to try that somehow. And um, I, I always wanted to kind of explore that part of, of myself, because I, I knew I could sing, you know, carry a tune. But so I was really excited. That was a big attraction to the movie. But then when you had to do it, was it a little bit scary at first? Yeah, it was, it was uh, frightening, because just because I don't have the background, you know, to know exactly what I'm doing. But Thomas Dolby, who wrote and produced all the music, and played on it and sang too sometimes. He uh, he really helped me. He kind of like held my hand through the whole process and and really wrote the songs kind of with me in mind. And he was in very he was very nurturing and, and kind about it, you know. So he helped me a lot and, and and I had a great time. Who decided on the look? Because there's a little bit of a Madonna look, and I don't mean to infer mm -hmm. that you've copied Madonna, but there's a little of that feeling. Mm -hmm. Now, who decided on that? Well, I think it's more like leaning towards Cindy Lauper, really. I mean, that's um, the designer was really Joe Tompkins, a really great costume designer. We decided that she was going to be really wacky. You know, I mean, it's a comedy; you're supposed to go real far, and uh, rock and roll is all about hair. So we had this big hairdo, you know, and. We wanted to kind of go towards 60s, so hence I wear all really short mini skirts through the whole movie. And uh, these were just the decisions we decided on. And, and I was kind of dressed like that for the audition, so I think that's kind of how they got the idea. But in terms of Madonna, I don't think I sing like Madonna. I don't think the, the overall feeling of, the, of her is like that, so. When you had to do scenes early, uh, when you were just starting the film with Howard the Duck. Did that take some getting used to? It did, kind of. I mean, he's, he's three feet tall. That's an interesting thing. And it is, it was difficult. I thought maybe nobody would ever take me seriously again after I had a love scene with a duck, you know? <laughs> uh, it, it did take a lot. But uh, once I did, I really had a good time working with him. I got a lot of neat ideas. and. He was actually a pretty good actor to work with. I, I'm glad you brought up the love scene because um, I kept thinking, now, if I were in Leah's place at this moment, <laughs> I would feel so ridiculous. How, how, did you, how did you get through that? How did you know what to do and how to feel and how to react? Well, I just, I figured from the very beginning that it was my job to, to show the, the audience Howard and make it, the audience believe in Howard. You know what I mean? Through my eyes. And so I, I just committed, you know, completely. I mean, I think I felt more foolish, like, when I had to cry over him and, and you know, say goodbye to him. I really felt kind of kind of stupid. But when we, we were doing a comedy, that's what it's all about, you know. It's all about uh, making believe. And, and, you know, a lot of times we had to pretend we were seeing things that weren't there, you know, like the big monsters and stuff in the end of the movie. And... Uh, it's just part of the game, you know? And we were all in it together, so we had to commit, you know? You've had some experience doing that before, surely in space camp, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> It's very difficult, but I guess because I was a dancer, it's easy for me to imagine things, you know, because dancers have to imagine everything. You know, I, it's, I have a good, good imagination. <laughs> Space Camp didn't do as well at the box office as everybody hoped it would. Mm -hmm. And one of the theories advanced was because of the Challenger explosion. Mm -hmm. Do you personally think that affected the box office? Yeah, I do. And also because 
the week it came out, they had the, all the commission reports about how NASA really was at fault. So no, none, no adult who was, who was watching the news really wanted to go see it, you know. It's too bad. Did, was there ever any talk about them just postponing it for a while? At I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't really privy to those kind of conversations. But I'm hoping that there's no uh, big duck disaster before this movie comes out. <laughs> <laughs> What would a we duck <laughs> disaster be, Leah? I don't know. Some <laughs> duck scandal. Keep people away from the theaters. Uh, <laughs> I, I love this movie, and so I really hope people go to see this one. This is the one that I, I've um, been looking forward to my whole career. It's really my favorite movie that I've done. So I hope people go see it. <laughs> well, Leah, it could very well be a turning point in your career because of the singing, which you do very well, mm -hmm. and we're, we stress the fact you did all your own singing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. None of it was looped by anybody else. No, no. Okay. Anyway, you're wonderful in the film, oh, Leah, and I enjoyed you. talking with you again. Thanks. Thanks a lot.